<laughs> we're ready. We're anticipating. We've we've been waiting for this. This is this is the moment. Okay. Did they get the stage correct? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that baby. Never thought I'd never be so happy to see no middle platform. And there we go. Mario going up against Fox. Uh, maybe they're gonna be running it. Maybe Azumi will show up in flames. Who knows? So either way, game number one between Azumi and Riley. SPU has to get another six points, so meaning two two stocks, uh, and they'll be able to bring it back to all the way even. Uh, but that's definitely no easy task. Right now, Mr. Uh, excuse me, Riley is looking to get something started. Not able to find anything quite yet, though. Azumi was trying to read the uh, get up option from uh, the, or sorry, the tech chase on the ledge there, but uh, could not do so and got punished for it big time. 83% on him. Gets the drag down a forward air, and Fox has plenty of combo ability on a character like Mario. The problem is getting in on, in the first place. Mario can play very defensive. Excellent if need stall. To that be. stall was so smart to Azumi just to be able to mix up Riley's recovery timing, making sure that they can't get hit back off stage. Um, and right now, Azumi just looking for any way out of the corner, getting a little bit too antsy with that out of shield option. They were not spaced nearly well enough to be able to punish F smash on shield, but gets the side B into the up air. Really beautiful way to clean up that stock. And right now, Azumi sitting at the stock lead. Mario needs a solid hit. Um, but as soon as Fox gets in, he's able to really pile on the damage. There was the down smash, and Azumi's going to be able to make it back here. He has to be very careful. How is he going to fight his way off of ledge? He's been able to dodge that up smash a couple times. I don't know who now. Riley was up smashing. I, yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know who he was up smashing, but uh, surely not Azumi. But either way, he was able to find the stock with, uh, with down smash. Forward tilt comes through. Fox back off stage, and now I think Riley is starting to figure it out. Ooh, but the jab lock comes through and not able to get the up smash off of it, but still 49, 50% done already. And now Riley trying to find the tech chase himself. Back into neutral. The jab comes through 68%, and Azumi just trying to keep his space, wait for Riley to make a mistake on landing, and try and punish it. Yeah, look, look, Azumi is treating uh, center stage really, really well right now. They're just sticking to it. They're keeping they're keep Riley in the corner, trying to go through these follow-ups again. Unfortunately, though, the down is actually going to be trading with the first hit of the up air. Uh, so very fortunate for Riley that he was still able to land. He tries to keep fishing through the same exact kill confirm. This should be a huge call out to Riley, like, hey, you need to watch out what you're doing at long distance. Are you pressing too many buttons? Are you doing nothing? Are you dashing too much? Um, because Azumi is getting a lot of these side views. Oh, nearly the forward air coming through. That would have spiked, and that would have been a huge stock. And gets the jab lock up smash. That was great so conversion by Azumi. Wow, that was that was so so cool. That was such a clean way to take that stock too. Right now, Azumi is definitely capable of taking this game with two stocks, which is exactly what they need. So as long as you know Mario is not allowed to do Mario things, just gonna keep pressing jab on on Azumi shield. Fox definitely does struggle out of shield, so gonna have to respect that and has to respect that uh, you know, F smash on shield as well. This is a big stock for Azumi. Can he hold on to it? 124, trying to find his way back. Dodged one, got hit by the forward air. He's gonna survive it though, and make it back to center stage. This is a big interaction. The down smash still not gonna kill Azumi quite yet. He'll side B back to ledge, and that's a couple times now that he's just used that side B just to get back. Oh, a dangerous whiff on the jab, but cannot be punished by Riley. And this forward throw is gonna put another edge guard situation on the board. Oh, oh wow, going to end up side being right into the flood and into up smash. So that means Zumi, uh, so as long as they're able to take this game with one stock, uh, they need to three stock the next Wait, actually? Yes, they would need to three stock the next game uh, if, if they hope to actually get the edge here. This game could still go either way, though. I mean, if Quinnipiac gets any points, it's massive. And if Azumi can take this stock, well, it'd be part one of the comeback for St. Peter's. Trying to get the uh, option there off of the platform, but cannot find anything. And now you can tell Azumi's just trying to keep his distance and rack up a little bit of percent at a time. Ooh, that was a dangerous and ambitious forward smash. Gets the jab reset. Up smash not going to kill yet. And now Mario trying to recover. Yeah. Um, 
I have to say, I really like the way that Azumi sometimes decides to pace it, to dash back and go for a bunch of little lasers. Excellent up smash. Uh, it takes out the stock. Uh, but, you know, dashing back and going for a lot of lasers can be so powerful, um, simply because, you know, you're able to sometimes just get chip damage and you lose absolutely nothing. That is a very easy win in terms of percent. So as long as you're not giving up too much stage control, it can more often than not be a favorable option. So basically just camp is what I'm saying. <laughs> well, that was a huge stock for Azumi to take as, as we mentioned, St. Peter's now, in order to tie Quinnipiac, Azumi must three stock Riley in this next match, and it is going to be on Riley's counter pick. And Riley, as you can tell from some of these replays, dodged a lot of bullets. There were opportunities that Riley had uh, that he could not convert the forward air whiff, the jab whiff right there that actually ended up leading to uh, this confirm here. You can see the flood to up smash messing with Fox's recovery. And again, I feel like this match was very close. It's gonna, it's a tall task for Azumi to three stock Riley here. Um, Azumi definitely did seem a little bit more confident in some aspects of play. The way that they were stalling off stage was definitely really sophisticated. Uh, they were waiting for like a lot of openings, but the biggest fault of Azumi is the way that they started to really fish for the side B, uh, especially towards those last two stocks, man. Like, it worked in the past, but the way that Azumi was going through side B got punished for it over and over and over and over and took so much damage as a result. And that's tough. You know, uh, honestly, Fox does struggle a little bit to kill, right? He has a very linear kill option, nail into up smash. You can't nail into up smash, you either get a raw side B into up air, which barely works half the time, or you get a solid back air, which doesn't even kill until like 130. Uh, this is Fox's biggest weakness in this game. He cannot kill. Uh, and Azumi just needs to find more creative ways to work around that. Because as soon as they've tunnel visioned into these select handful of kill options, Riley was able to get a lot of more percent uh, punishes on the whips. Something else uh, that, I, thinking back on that match that I, I noted was Fox almost never used back air. That entire set, I don't think I saw a single back air out of Fox. And of course, that's that's partially because you know Fox is a, a run and gun face forward type of type of character. But back air is another strong move that. Uh, you know, could be a mix-up, especially, you know, when you talk about trying to convert that side B into up air, a mix-up could be, you know, waiting for something and then going for that back air. Uh, we will have to see what adaptations they make as it looks like we are going to regular battlefield after the picks and bands are in and uh, the match is set and ready to go. This is it. If Azumi loses a stock, Quinnipiac takes the win. We shall see if the three stock is possible on Battlefield up next. Battlefield, uh, that's a bold choice. That's a, that's a bold choice to be taking Mario to it, but actually, oh, I think Ooh. I understand a little bit more why. We're gonna be seeing the switch to Piranha Plant from Riley. Uh, and this is quite the interesting matchup. It can be quite volatile as soon as Piranha Plant has Fox off stage. Let me tell you, Patui, a nightmare. Literally, Foxes wake up in their sleep. Sweaty, you know, like telling you, Patui does an excellent job of, of playing the game for Piranha Plant, especially off stage. But uh, Fox's advantage against uh, Piranha Plant can be so solid. Landing with Nail, landing with Florida, going through like a lot of jabs and dash attacks. Piranha Plant does sometimes struggle to deal with that. Uh, but they, if they're able to Patui properly, um, they can get out of a lot of uh, uncomfortable situations as well. Early on, Fox racking up a little bit of percent here, but he took plenty, 52. This Piranha Plant, he hits like a truck sometimes, especially with some of those stronger moves. So it is going to be very dangerous. And, there and there's the stock, the neutral B catching the recovery. And just like that, Riley secures the win for Quinnipiac. Yeah, it is. Such, such tragedy too. There is, there is, very, there is nothing that Azumi can do from here on out. Uh, such is the reality of the situation that we live in. So right now Azumi, you know, just gonna be playing through points, playing through honor. Um, so right now trying to find any way to catch Riley's landings, going through a bunch of these up there. He's not able to find much else other than a couple of raw hits. Ooh, good dash attack, catching Piranha Plant out of position there, but now he's trying to get back to stage and. 
Riley getting a little ambitious with a few of these up smashes. Ooh, great tech out of Riley there. That was a back air that I felt like should have been a kill if you're if you're a fan of St. Peter's, but nothing happening. And again, again Fatui just is so much pressure simply by existing. It forces you to go to ledge. It means you can't go high. You can't be contesting. You can't be challenging Fatui. It's it's uh. Man, it's one of the most powerful projectiles in the game just because of how much it does for Fox. Riley able to get out of those up tilts, able to land and shield on time with that move, not having any more knockback to actually keep Piranha Plant popped up. Uh, being a super heavyweight, you can sometimes get out of low percent situations quite early. And again, Pitui with the closing out the stock. Uh, Riley is looking so confident. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. I think Riley is starting to sniff out these side Bs too because there's that's twice now that Riley has attempted to stall out and just, you know, flew right into it. And it is, you're absolutely right. The nightmare for Fox is 88% already and Riley not even close to kill percent yet as the grab comes through. Tries and again, to go here comes the down to go with Tui. <laughs> What is wrong with Riley? That was really <laughs> smart. That was actually really cool. Oh, I'm so sad that I didn't even connect. But right now, just about anything will be able to take Fox's stock at this point. Ah, uh, tries to go for quite the cheeky kill as well. That would have caught neutral, got up drop downs, everything. Drawing Riley. a hit of anything will kill here. Uh, Riley, Riley is just, no. I mean, Riley is like playing really confidently right now. At this point, you know, it doesn't particularly matter. The down beat, uh, not fully charged up, not gonna be able to take it, but again, the Patui catching the high recovery. And that being said, that's gonna be it for Quinnipiac University up against St. Peter's with a really, really confident uh, 18 to 10, I think. Well, actually, wait. It's gonna go to game three. I forgot that this is. It's yeah. one one in the set, so, so we sorry. will have a game three. No worries. Uh, unfortunately, that still means that St. Peter's cannot make the comeback. Too many points were earned in that last set. But uh, I this would be like to say, for points. yeah, yeah, I, I, see it, what you can do. yeah, the point differential will come into play. But I, I, you know, big shout out to. Uh, Riley getting all of those re every single kill this match was a Patui, as you mentioned. It was just nothing that Azumi could do to get back to stage to get through that spike ball. It's that move is a nightmare, honestly. It it uh, it plays the game for the Pagana plant sometimes. It's there is very little that you can do to challenge it. You don't want to be clanking with it. Very few moves actually have hitboxes big enough. To the point where you can say, yeah, I'm going to clank out this projectile. It does way too much damage. So uh, with how Super Smash Bros. has always treated clanking with uh, projectiles, uh, basically what happens is it checks, is your move within 9%? Uh, like, does it deal, does that specific hitbox, is it within the 9% threshold? So if it deals, uh, 8%, excuse me. So if it deals more, uh, then that threshold, it will be able to beat out that move, You'll be, and it will simply exist as though nothing were there. However, Piranha's plant, Patui, it deals absurd amounts of damage for the projectile. You know, it, it has no right to be doing as much as it does. It does, um, it does 15%. I was going to say 15 or 16, yeah. Yeah, 15%. <laughs> it's going to be beating out like a lot of like the quick moves that you would normally use to clank with other projectiles. And even then, I believe it might also have some trampling properties as well. Uh, that I would have to look into, but it's kind of ridiculous. We've seen the character switch from Izumi, which honestly, fantastic choice. Young Link uh, can play outside of Piranha Plant's, you know, danger zone. He doesn't really have to worry about Patui as much when you got fire arrows and boomerangs. You kind of force him to play a different game. Yeah, and uh, Piranha Plant is one of those characters too that. You know, they want to you to approach. They like, uh, excuse me, like to play defensive. And so, if you can keep your distance and just the speed of these projectiles too from Young Link, they all come out fairly quickly and do a decent amount of damage. On top of that, they can combo out a boomerang, uh, things like that. Make this character, you know, extra interesting to play against a, a, a character who loves to kind of camp like like plant. Yep, Azumi is just playing outside of that range, just getting a couple of hits here and there. Late hit of, late hit of up air. 
um, you know, still being able to connect. Right now, Riley almost taking the stock with down B there, but unfortunately not getting enough time to charge it in the desired direction. Good shield reading that neutral B, barely getting it off in time, but the down air, the lasting hitbox is not going to kill quite yet. Azumi dips low, forcing Mr. Purple away for the moment, but Mr. Purple, or, uh, or sorry, Riley is able to find his way back. Now another edge guard situation. Great job avoiding the bomb and catching the second one. Plenty of percent as he uses that side B, gets the grab, and this should be the oh, stock wow, of the first one though. to Riley. Yeah, you don't really typically see Piranha Plant uh, back throw, like killing. It's, it's up there, that's the usual. Um, right now, Azumi just trying to get the edge guard, but not able to get the bomb into the up B, only the bomb hit. That's a Piranha Plant at 221%. Uh, this close to cheating, that up here did not connect. How? I have no idea. But right now, Mr. Uh, right now, Riley has this lead, has this absurd lead, and is running away with it. And every little bit of percent that he racks on Azumi just makes it that much better. He nearly takes the stock with that forward smash. Gonna take all the percent that he can get from that upbeat and still alive at 235. Can't get a hit here and gets the grab. And the Batui's gonna take it. Riley is on fire. 235 points and a Piranha Plan is still living strong. Azumi just cannot connect a single hit. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, that was terrifying. I don't care what character you are, no character should be able to live to 235%. That is way too much. You'd think you'd be able to find a kill somewhere. But no, Azumi could not. He's getting a little greedy with these uppies, trying to rack up uh, some percent, make up the difference here, but already kind of struggling to do so. And then Azumi into shielding across the stage. Riley has all the momentum that they need, has all the momentum, has all the tempo. Azumi is, uh, you know, just playing for the sake of playing at this point. <gasps> oh, he wanted the spike of down air, could not get it. But I'm gonna do a little bit of percentage. Azumi dips low, gets the hit from the neutral B, and oh, yeah, you can tell Riley's getting a little greedy. He wants to end this game. Good, in style. That was like really solid option coverage, but the issue is they were drifting a little bit too far to the left to be able to connect the back here. So they did force the defensive option, they almost punished it. Um, but they just did not position themselves correctly in order to be able to do so. Charging that down be only the early hit really connecting. Um, Piranha Plan, of course, just able to armor through anything. Um, up till not going to be able to do it quite yet. But, you know, the next attack that Piranha Plan has definitely will. 2E, uh, down B. Yep, down B. The range on that down B is so deceptive sometimes and just, especially on charge like that, catches the roll back. And just like that, Quinnipiac wins it on match number two of three. And there's the roll back. You see Riley taking that last stock to earn another two points and extend that lead. The Bobcats defeat St. Peter's in a big one. Oh, wow, that was, that, was, that was quite the drawn outside, actually. This one was kind of going down uh, a little bit, but wow. I, have, I haven't seen Piranha Plan have that much sleep up ability, but... Gotta say, it's a, it's a little bit difficult for the young Link to take out some stocks sometimes. You'll, you'll see them complain a lot, but, it, you know, it, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the reality of Smash players. They, they, that's all they know how to do. Go on Twitter and complain. Uh, young Link's uh, quite notorious for that one as well. And honestly... Rightfully so. Uh, there were some times when I saw like down air didn't kill, and I was really surprised why it didn't kill. Um, some of the like the you know knockback scaling always needs to be reworked. But guys, that being said, that will 